All right, guys, welcome back to another great episode at Three Pound Fishing. Today, we're going to be talking about the art of choosing a bait, bait color, bait size, what I do in regards to choosing the, the thing that's going to get the fish to bite. I mean, I get asked all the time. It's amazing. What well, color is probably the number one thing I get asked. And in this episode, we're going to go over what goes through my mind and how I'm going about changing bait color, changing bait size on the different lakes that we fish. And let me tell you, we've got some awesome lakes coming up at Three Pound Fishing. You're gonna absolutely love it, but let's get started. We're gonna fire off here and put some fish in the boat. I hope you guys had an incredible summer. We're now hitting that transition now, summer to fall. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about that as well. Here we go. guys got to our first location yeah we're gonna put some fish to the boat got my hammer tin for you all that don't under know it is the hammer tin is the best darn 10 footer on the market you gotta check out the hammer tin i also fish a lot with the striker tin that's the other 10 footer that we sell here at three pound fishing a little faster tip uh, it's got the wind grip put some fish in the boat have some fun looking forward to it gosh dang There we go. Nice little pile. Good little start. Beautiful fish. Come on, baby. Solid. All right. You guys, if you haven't checked out my good fish right there, if you have not checked out the video on settings, I'm going to tell you right now, there's several of them now out. Just recently um, put one out that kind of breaks down exactly what I do uh, to get an absolutely clear picture. So I highly recommend going back and, and looking at that. Um, it's only about two videos away from where we're at right now on YouTube, and uh, it's been well received. I think you guys will really enjoy it. There we go. All right, <laughs> a little fatty. Good fish here, man, good fish. All right, fantastic fish. Let's talk about baits real quick. I think that's an important topic that a lot of people, I'll let them go, always letting them go. Um, a lot of people ask about baits. I remember when I first started crappie fishing, the biggest question I always had was what color, what color? So. Let me get some baits out here real quick, and I want to share with you my thoughts on bait color on this. Now, I think that, you know, and, and again, for the people that know a lot about crappie fishing, this is not going to be new news to you, but people that are new to crappie fishing, and I remember when I was there, um, when the lake water is clear, when the lake water is clear, we need to use more natural colors. The reason why is because, well, the fish can see really good. We want it to look more natural. Um, and my lake here has got four foot of visibility so when i put my bait down i can see it pretty much for four feet then it kind of disappears and the number one color i'm telling you right all around is going to be your monkey milk type colors but it doesn't have to be monkey milk it can be some other natural colors like this nice gray and then a monkey milk kind of color right there i would also consider maybe a light blue and a white kind of being more natural right there um, so if, in regards to color, if I see a lake that has four foot of visibility or more, I'm always going to natural colors. Now, the dirty water lakes, the Grenadas, the Rin lakes, depending upon what sections you're in, of course, is always it, but always just look at the water visibility, chocolate milk, dirty as heck. We want to go with bright colors, crazy stuff, stuff that gets their attention, stands out something darker something really dark something really bright trans you know uh chartreuse we want blacks we want oranges we want chartreuse colors it doesn't matter you just have to make up your own kind of makeup for those bodies of water um, and, and i don't know if it's actually 
I think it is important. I really do at some level. But, you know, to me, I'm more of a vibration guy, not necessarily our color guy. But those are the two main things that I go by. Clear water, clear water. I want natural colors, dirty water. I want loud, obnoxious colors. And I'm going to, it's not to say the others won't work, but I'm just saying that's definitely where I start. Okay, let's catch some more fish and then we're going to talk about size. Now I'm currently using the hammer as a rod. 10 footer, again, I always tell people, I truly believe the 10 footer is the best rod out there. The Hammer 10, available on the website, check it out. The Striker 10 is also incredible, but today we're primarily using the hammer. I do have a striker, you'll get to see that in action here, because we'll switch baits left and right. I'm always adjusting my baits, but once you find something that works, you stick with it. Wow, that guy came a long way. I hope you guys saw that. Good fish. Feels like a really good fish. Boy, what a fighter. Good fish. That guy came at it aggressively, man. Like, no hesitation. Now, great fish. Ooh, that could be a thumbnail right there, guys. All right, we're letting him go. Um, now, I like small baits. I've always told people this constantly, and I can tell you right now, uh, there's a fantastic deal on our website. It's called the Mega Hair Jig Pack. I'm a big hair jig guy. If you've been following three pound fishing, 13 jigs, 20 bucks. Check this out because you get an assortment of all the colors that three pound fishing offers and almost a dollar a hair jig. This is, this is an incredible deal. And the reason why I bring that up is because A, I'm a big fan of hair jigs. But two, number two fact on this, on this trip is that size does matter. I like small baits, always will, always have. It always seems that we move to small baits later in a trip. And I'm like, well, why not just start with the small baits? And, uh, and so that's what I do. I try, I try to go, you know, a two inch bait is pretty much the biggest I'll go with. Um, a lot of my fishing partners like the three inch baits, they start there, but I love that about having a fishing partner because they have different thought processes. And so you're getting to identify exactly what it is that the fish like. I always typically start small, two inch being the longest, but a lot of my hair jigs are, you know, you know, here's, here's the all white one that comes in that pack. Let me grab it here. You know, that guy's maybe an inch, inch and a half. And I absolutely love that. Complement that with a split shot and you get it down there quicker. You can identify it better because you have two items moving at the same rate. Um, and I just think fish don't hesitate to eat an appetizer, whereas they might hesitate to eat the steak. Um, I think the old theory of a bigger bait, bigger fish, I don't typically believe it and take in on that. Um, but that's not to say that I won't try them. But, and if it's working great in tournaments, I have switched to the bigger baits, but, but rarely, that's rarely. I mean, it just doesn't happen that often. So smaller baits, that's how I start almost every trip. Guide trips, tournaments, doesn't really matter. And I will always start with a hair jig because if I can get away with a hair jig, I'm more efficient like you wouldn't believe. So let's catch them. All right, I said I would start, I would fish with the Striker 10. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Striker 10's got an incredible grip. This is the most comfortable rod you'll ever feel. Um, the only difference really between it is the grip and the tip. The tip is a little bit faster on the Striker 10, so you really get to enjoy the feel of that fish fighting um, between the Striker 10 and the hammer. There we go. Oh, I tell you what, changing that speed might be key. Tell you what, right now, and you can feel that fish fight. I love it. Good fish. <laughs> oh, and we're bleeding. We'll let him go real quick, though. Oh, what a great fish, though. Fantastic fish. All right, let's talk about speed of your baits, guys. So I always emphasize putting a split shot on your bait. Um, again, I like hair jigs, so that means it's gonna fall faster because it absorbs the water. Um, but on top of it, it's gonna fall even faster because we put a split shot on it. And what we just did there was we took that split shot off to really slow the presentation of the bait. You have to read your fish. When, you're, when, the, fish, when the bait's going over the, the structure, look how your fish are reacting. If they are 
straighten you up there. If they are not moving at all, you've got to slow it down or go larger in bait. Um, I've tried both and definitely I've always thought that maybe smaller is better. Again, I always kind of push towards that direction, but take the split shot off, make it just float across there, giving them all the time in the world to look at it. Um, is a big thing for me. So we just switched it up. We took off the split shot. We actually even switched baits to a hair jig and they and they seem to enjoy that better. I think we're getting better action on the plastic, me personally, but that's you reading your baits as you go across and identifying what is working best. And then that's gonna be your tactic for pretty much the rest of the day. Again, check out the Mega Pack on the website. 20 bucks for that. That's 13 hair jigs, guys. You can't beat that on the internet. Um, an assortment of one of every, almost every color that we have. I think we have three other colors on top of it, but you can see the gumdrop, the all white, the swamp, all these baits that you're seeing. And I am a firm believer that the swamp is probably the best hair jig color you can ever get. So check that out, the swamp. But check out the mega pack because I think that's a heck of a deal. We're going to go back to the plastic now, go back to the hammer, put more fish in the boat. Hey guys, I can't emphasize enough. Check out that video on the clear on the clear picture. Uh, literally, it's probably two videos ago. And if you want, I get asked all the time about my settings. And I'm just telling you, that video is, lines it right up for you. How to make these settings as perfect as possible. I might even do another video just because it's such a well-received video. Good fish there, guys. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Oh, you gotta love it, guys. And I'm telling you, this swamp hair jig, which is part of that mega pack, is a hot bait. Let's talk about vibration of baits and the importance of that. That's a great fish. That's a great fish right there, guys. So vibration of a bait, and I've talked about this before, is, is also very important. Um, hair jigs don't typically have any of vibration because of water displacement. It doesn't really push the water away from a hair jig, okay? And again, this is my priority. I want this bait, if I can use this bait all day long, it's so easy to use a hair jig. You don't have to worry about it slipping down. But a lot of these baits come with ridges on them. I'm sure you're familiar with them, really small ridges and plastics will push the water away and give the bait more action as i like to call it but also it's just more vibration it makes it more obnoxious coming through the water so that's the other thing i always consider a lot of times when you're not getting a hair jig bite it just means that it's not being loud enough to get their attention it's not doing something which means i go to Here's another favorite one. If you guys want to check out the hardcore crappie baits, I think that they're a great plastic. It is a bait like that. See those ridges really pronounced? Now, again, I keep them small. Um, I'll keep this one out here because I'll probably fish with it. Um, but vibration. So there it is. That's the uh, breakdown of all my baits and the way that I look at changing colors and baits when I go to a lake. You're going to see some incredible lakes coming up on this channel um, right after this episode. So stay tuned. They're coming. And uh, without a doubt, check out the Mega Pack. Take it easy, guys. Appreciate you. Guys.